This wagon load of cured burly tobacco would normally be headed for the stripping room to have the leaves removed from the stalk. Instead, this tobacco is being used by University of Kentucky agricultural engineers to test their high-speed market prep machine. This is our first year with its with our new and improved version. We, uh, uh, we were fortunate enough to be able to identify some, some shortcomings in the first system. Uh, we were given the opportunity to modify and to build another system and uh, the results are, are behind us and uh, we're pretty well pleased with it. Much of the cost associated with Burley Tobacco is in the market prep of stripping the individual leaves from the stalk by hand. That is where the real need for mechanization is and how to remove the leaf from the stalk. We thought of ways to try to actually cut the stalk and the leaf all in, in small four inch segments continuously and then use a combination of mechanical agitation similar to a straw walker on a combine but to augment that with pneumatic separation which would allow us to buoy the lighter leaf material out of the heavier stalk material. This particular technology is not removing the whole leaf, it's removing leaf pieces, uh, which is making it more feasible, and then the, the industry then has to be able to purchase and process and use that product, and, it, and so far that it's looking promising. The leaf pieces are then put into a hydraulic press where they become tobacco bales that are ready for market. University of Kentucky agricultural engineers have partnered with the tobacco company Philip Morse on research projects like this for about three decades. And this one may be only a couple of years away from being on the market. Don Folks of Philip Morris International says PMI is the sole source of funding on this project to the tune of about a half million dollars over the last four years. And once it is on the market, it could result in big savings for burly tobacco growers. This technology is, is taking anywhere from 75% to 90% of the labor involved in market preparation out of the crop. So that's very significant and very important for the future of the uh, U.S. burly tobacco market, I think. Folk says he sees only the biggest producers or centralized stripping operations having the machines. Then local growers would bring their tobacco in to be stripped by the machine, thereby saving the grower money. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.